we are gonna put the yo back in your gurt. Cause we're gonna make it out of powdered milk. Check it out. Hey, do you know? I don't know. Go ask mom. Welcome to another uh, self-reliance episode. We're going to be talking about alternative cooking um, and, and making yogurt today um, with powdered milk. So it's going to be really cool. Um, there's several things that are good for you uh, when it comes to yogurt and being able to uh, get probiotics in your body uh, using your powdered milk. And it's actually an enzyme inhibitor breakdowner for... Um, uh, grains. So here's what you're going to need. Um, and here's our lovely filtered water. It's not heated yet. Um, and what we're going to do is start with our just room temperature water and you mix up your two cups of powdered milk. Um, and there, it's going to be making some bubbles. And so bubble, some bubbles bother some people. Um, and so you can either make this the night before and put it in the fridge and then there won't be any bubbles. Um, but uh, go ahead and turn on your heat to medium um, and just warm it super gently. You don't want to scorch it. Um, so here's some of our bubbles and it, uh, it doesn't really change the final product, but it, like I said earlier, may bother some people. Um, so you can skim it off if you want to. Um, so, uh, after it reaches 110 degrees, or 115 degrees, and it actually makes a difference when I've done 110, it didn't really work as well. Um, so 115 seems to be the magic number, um, and give it a good mix, and mix it really well. You want, uh, as many of those, uh, bacteria to fill up your yogurt. Um, go ahead and place the lid on. And put it in your cooking bag or Wonder Oven or whatever. But look at that yogurt. Isn't that awesome? And I left it in all night long. Um, and, it, and it kept a good temperature all night. Um, but look at that yogurt. Pretty awesome, huh? And so you're going to see the whey start to separate from it. Um, and that's totally normal. And you can use the whey for other things later. But if you want to strain it out, you can. And it takes a little while. Um, but... Just get a towel and tie it around there, and we can kind of peek underneath here and see all the whey uh, filtering out there. It's pretty awesome. Okay, so there's our whey, and uh, yogurt can be good for just simply eating, add a little honey to it, um, soaking your flour, baking with it. We'll be doing other videos on baking. You can make smoothies. It's pretty awesome. So we save time with our thermal cooker. Uh, it takes normally about eight hours of heating it um, on a just a super low whatever, and with ours it used uh, 15 minutes of heat. That's a huge savings. So um, I'm glad that we were able to bring this uh, to to show you today. If you have any questions or if you have any suggestions or if you have um, anything that you would like to learn more about, let me know and we can make videos on it. Uh, stay tuned because we have other other videos for you. But um, like, share, and subscribe if this is something that you really like. So uh, thanks. We'll see you again.